Rocky and Derek Show. If you like our interviews, please visit our website, rockyanddarekshow.com, and visit our photo and video gallery. Today, we're at Elsewhere with... Uh, Antonia. Who does? Art. That's uh, I do, I went to school for sculpture, but I do a lot of photo and video work. What are you doing here at the, the Elsewhere? Um, so I'm here for a month-long residency where I'm going to install some uh, work in one of the in, um, installation rooms upstairs. How long have you been doing this? Um, about about six or seven years. Um, I. Uh, I started off in college as a journalism major, but it got a little bit too stressful, so I moved on to art. What is your most favorite thing that you've done with art? Um, my most favorite thing, uh, probably my um, bubble wrap video. Uh, I did a, made a uh, filter out of bubble wrap, and uh, went, um, as I like move in the video, it just I kind of just looks like a glob like moving behind bubble wrap. It's pretty cool. What school did you go to? Uh, for undergrad, I went to Georgia Southern University um, in Statesboro, Georgia, and for grad school, I went to Cranbrook Academy of Art in Michigan. When did you decide that you wanted to do art? Um, I took a drawing class and. Uh, as an elective and I don't know it kind of just stuck with me after that did anybody inspire you to do art uh, my mother actually she um, she like throughout my childhood she's always like drawn and painted flowers and um, people uh, and that I've al I feel like I've always gotten my like creative instincts from watching her as a child. Who is your favorite artist? Oh, that's a hard question. Um, probably Carrie Mae Weems, but I just saw a Sanford Biggers talk last night, and so um, I'm feeling really inspired based off of the talk that I had with, uh, not the talk that I had with him, but the talk that I watched him do um, but there's like it's a really hard really hard to choose because there's so many amazing artists do you picture yourself doing this in like five to ten years from now yeah this is um, this is what I like plan to do for the rest of my life actually what is the favorite what is your favorite thing that your favorite artist did um, Carrie Mae Weems has a, a, um, a photo series called the Kitchen Table Series, and um, it's just like uh, showing like her day to day, like what someone would do, like what she do, would do at a kitchen table, um, and it's just like a really good lens into what it's uh, what it's like to be a black woman at that time. How long have you been working elsewhere? Um, well, I'm not working here. I'm just um, doing the month, the like month-long artist residency. So, um, so I'm just here. Uh, I'm doing an artist talk tomorrow, and I'm going to install some work um, in the museum. Have you always lived in Greensboro? No, um, I actually I live in a small town outside of Savannah. Um, uh, this is actually my first time in Greensboro. Did Elsewhere bring you here? Yeah, it did. I've heard a lot about Elsewhere throughout my uh, college career, and I've always wanted to come. Did you say Greensboro or North Carolina? I said Greensboro, but she's talked about being in Atlanta. Well, Savannah. Yeah, that. Do you think Greensboro is a good place? Yeah, um, it's a, it's like so far I've had a great time here. Um, I've gone to uh, the Witherspoon. Um, they have some like pretty pretty great work up right now. So yeah, I really I'm enjoying myself. 
would you want your art to be in a museum like the wizard spoon yeah that that would be amazing to have my uh art in a museum like the wither spoon do you picture yourself like teaching other people to do this yeah um i i do uh, plan to teach in the future i'd like to uh teach in a muse in a museum setting someday do you ever sell your art i have sold my art but um it's not uh, it's not something that's normal for me because I um, mostly do videos and it's kind of hard to sell a video um, to someone. But I have sold work in the I have sold work before. Yeah. What kind of art have you sold to people? Um, photographs and sculptures. Um, yeah. Where can we find your videos? Um, on my website uh, at ansniabelarkin.net. What is the biggest project you ever done? Um, well, the biggest project I ever done uh, is actually the one that I'm working on right now, which isn't completed. But um, I'm uh, there's like so this is a very old building, and so there's a lot of cracks in the walls. So I'm taking hair and I'm going to uh, insert hair into the make it look like hair is growing out of the walls at elsewhere. How long do you think it'll take to finish what you're doing? Uh, I, I'm guessing about two weeks to f uh, finish like the process of putting the hair in the cracks um, and then maybe another week to because there's going to be a writing component and so maybe another re week to write up what's good, the writing portion of the work. Do you expect your project to go good? Well, yeah, um, I'm uh, really excited. I, uh, I always, you never know what's gonna happen. Expect um, when you're making work, um, things can go wrong, or you might have to figure out like new techniques to like get through things, but um, I'm very optimistic. My project. What is the most expensive art that you sold? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, probably, probably a sculpture. Um, in undergrad, it's probably like the most expensive thing I've sold. A ceramic sculpture. What are the stuff you learned about elsewhere so far? Um, well, I I knew a little bit about it before I came here, but I did learn more about Sylvia Gray um, and how she uh, everything that she owned was preserved here, and like every every little thing is like a part of collection and can't be taken out of this building unless it's like going to be brought back which I find really interesting um, I've learned that um, when they're building uh, this building they mi and they mixed uh, horse hair into the concrete um, which I find really interesting and um, has been like an inspiration for me uh, in regards to the piece that I'm installing right now. Do you think you're still gonna live here after your month is up with Elsewhere? Um, n no, but I mean, I'm I may come back someday. I don't know. Do you ever think about making your own business, like having your own thing? Yeah. Well. Uh, being being an artist is like sort of like a business, but I have uh, I have thought about like a more like commercialized uh, about doing something more commercialized or uh, teaching like specific classes. But uh, right now I'm just like uh, try, like doing residencies um, in different places. Like right now I'm here, but next month. I'll be in uh, New York doing an artist residency. So right now I'm just traveling.
How can people get in contact with you? Um, the best, I don't have social media, so the best way is through email, um, AntoniaBLarkin at gmail.com, which is also listed um, in the information page on my website. In your own words, what advice would you give to kids? Um, to follow your dreams and don't let, don't let like, don't let anything stop you from moving forward, no matter like what happens. Just keep pushing forward. That's it for today, guys. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, be like, and if you want to become a sponsor, go to our website, rockydarekshow.com. Goodbye.